Hey everyone, um, I'm gonna do another ranking, another ranking, top, top five, so let's do this for Maurice out there, I'm going to do a Ben 10 related video, and that is top five favorite Ben 10 episodes. Now I, I, I am one of the OG fans of Ben 10, I remember first, the I remember watching the premiere, I remember loving it, um, I enjoy the film, the the, move, the the seasons, I enjoy the films. Um, I think my favorite, though, is the original OG, Ben 10 from 2005. So I'm going to do that, uh, to do those seasons. Top five favorite episodes. And these are my opinions, so let's start with this. Number five, The Visitor. This is a good episode because we, we actually see the grandpa's uh, something from the grandpa's past. Uh, it was this alien. He had um, he had a like romance with, and it was, it's just a fun. And it's like never judge a book by the cover. One of those types of stories, and it's a really good story. And Ben is hilarious in it. Number four is um, one of my favorites growing up, and it is uh, Ken Ten. Where um, in the future Ben has a kid named Ken, and um, uh, Kevin has a kid, and they actually become friends, and it's really good. It's it's one of those really good episodes that you're like you just want to sit down, eat your food, and like just enjoy. Um, number three is Goodbye and Good Riddance. It is one of the, it is it was the last of, if I remember, of the uh, original series, the first series, and it, it's a good, it's a good um, uh, completion, I guess, because we do get uh, Alien Force, which I'll go to soon, but um, it's just a good, co you know, like it concluded. It was a good conclusion to the original series, and um, it, it's like one of the best. It is one of uh, the best cartoons Cartoon Network came out with. Uh, in my opinion, it's better than Adventure Time. That's just my opinion. Number two goes to Kevin Eleven. Uh, Kevin Eleven, we actually see another kid who has like the same kind of thing like Ben. And his name is Kevin, and he's just, he, he you could tell he's a troubled kid, and he, he just doesn't, he, he, you could tell he means no harm, but he just has to do what he has to do. He reminds me, probably, like, of the John Bender character, like, the Judd Nielsen character from, um, The Breakfast Club. So, uh, it's a really, it's a touch, it's touching, too. This kid is very like means no harm. He's going through a lot, and but he has to be what he has to be, to to live and survive. Number one is just I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It is my favorite. It is Lucky Girl. We had to see Gwen kick ass, and I like the character. I really do like the character. She's funny. Um, she's smart. She's kind of like a. She has like the Barbara Gordon quality to her. And, uh, she actually, and there was a continuation to this episode, there was a, there was, like, a to be, con, you know, and uh, to this episode, not, like, the, the next episode wasn't, like, a to be, con like, this wasn't a to be continued, but we had to see more of Lucky Girl later on, and, um, she actually gets these cool powers, and I'm, it's sad that Gwen didn't, like, do, like, kick butt a lot in this, uh, series, I guess in Alien Force, I, got, I don't know yet. Um, I gotta re-watch Alien Force and then do the top fives. I I watched all of, of the, the first series. But um, it, it's a great episode because it was Gwen's episode. And Gwen actually had, like, we get to see Gwen, like, kick butt. So, um, that's my top five. Hope you like this. This was my opinion. So, um, thanks for watching.